Today we're gonna to be testing out three easy recipes for your waffle maker. I know that most of you guys have a waffle maker because you're probably making chaffles. You know, the cheese waffles that turn into bread that we love so much here on our channel. And so Sarah and I were perusing the internet looking for ideas on how we can utilize this appliance because most of us have it, but we're only using it for that one thing, to make chaffles. Sarah and I used to have the Dash mini waffle makers. You can buy these for about $10 on Amazon or at Target. And yeah, they're good, but you have to make them one at a time, which can be very time consuming. So Sarah and I purchased the Dash four unit mini waffle maker, and it is revolutionary for making chaffles and waffles and other things. So the first recipe that caught my eye was a play on chicken and waffles by a creator on TikTok called Katie Winter. Just a little side note though, this is a vegan recipe or a vegetarian recipe because she makes vegan or vegetarian content. So Sierra and I try to show all of you guys that when you see a recipe that doesn't necessarily fit into your lifestyle, you should stop and think, how can I make this keto? She uses the Beyond Meat Chicken Nuggets. We're gonna be using these Real Good Chicken Nuggets. This is by Real Good Foods. These are supposedly available at every Walmart across the country because I saw so on their website. We actually used these a couple weeks ago to make keto-friendly orange chicken that was so easy to make and absolutely delicious. If you guys wanna check out that video, we'll link it after this one. But these have two grams of net carbs per serving. So for this recipe, you're gonna need the chicken nuggets. You're gonna be needing a keto pancake and waffle mix. You can also make your own waffle mix if you want. I think it's like almond flour, baking soda, egg, and stuff like that, but we just went out and bought this one because we wanted to try it. This is by Scotty's Every Day. It says it has zero net carbs. We're gonna link it below. This just needs three tablespoons of water, one large egg, a little bit of vanilla, and that's it. And if you want to have the real chicken and waffle experience, you should probably get yourself a keto-friendly maple syrup. This is by Lakanto, but we know that Chalk Zero has one. Lots of other brands have their own maple syrups. This is the one that we have on hand, so this is gonna be the one that we're gonna be using. We can link it below. Preheated our oven to 400 degrees, and we're gonna be cooking these chicken nuggets for about 17 to 20 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to be drinking my favorite drink of the summer, a grapefruit Paloma featuring Element, who's the sponsor of this video. Element is a delicious electrolyte drink mix with everything that you need and nothing that you don't. That means lots of salt and no sugar. Element contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. Sarah and I incorporate Element into our diets every single day because we love the way it tastes and it makes us feel great on our ketogenic lifestyle. That's because when you go into ketosis, you shed a lot of water and inside that water are your electrolytes. This can be feeling tired, have headaches, and nausea, also known as the keto flu. Element replenishes your electrolytes so that you feel better. We love Element because you can incorporate it so many different ways into your lifestyle, including mocktails, cocktails, popsicles, and so much more. This is the Grapefruit Paloma, which is just ice, sparkling water, grapefruit salt, and a little bit of lime juice. Right now, Element is offering our community a free sample pack. It looks like this so that you can try all the flavors. That's eight single serving packets free with any order from Element. This way you can try all the flavors and share some with a salty friend. In order to get this deal, you must go to drinklmnt.com slash keto twins. So our chicken nuggets are now done cooking. We're gonna move on to the next step. Why am I using this and not the oven mitt? I don't know, I did something. that batter on there. You wanna be plentiful, otherwise it won't be a waffle. Right. So that creator did one nugget at a time and we have four that we gotta do and so I'm thinking maybe I should coat all of them at the same time and then plop them onto the waffle maker so we can shut it really quickly. You might have more leeway if you're gonna just do one at a time. <laughs> one in. Okay. Cute. So those chicken and waffle bites look super delicious, but we're gonna wait to try them all at the end. But next up we have one that's kind of like on the dessert side of brunch, if you will, and it's involving strawberries, which I personally love. If you know me at all, you would know I love anything strawberry, strawberry ice cream, strawberry shortcake, 
So when I saw this, I knew that we were gonna have to try it. So these are strawberry waffle pops. We found this on TikTok by the creator Kale Junkie. So strawberries in small portions is a keto thing. I know that a lot of people try to avoid fruits, but we're only having a couple strawberries dipped into the pancake batter. So we're gonna be using more of the Scotty's Keto Pancake Mix, and we're gonna be using that same pancake batter for these strawberry bites. So all I did was I washed some organic strawberries, I cut off the top, and I sliced them in half. We actually have popsicle sticks because we made Korean corn dogs with these earlier last year and they were super delicious and that was a fun video. So I actually have like a thousand <laughs> popsicle sticks. I have no idea what to do with but I'm glad I didn't throw them away because we need them for this recipe. So it's really simple. We're going to skewer our pieces of strawberry with the popsicle stick and then we're going to dip that stick in our pancake batter and then we're going to place them in our waffle maker that I did coat with some avocado oil because the creator of this recipe actually used oil on her waffle maker. So I'm just gonna follow that. We did clean the waffle maker in between doing this recipe. Cute. Why do we have a thousand popsicle sticks Right, here? because on Amazon, if you don't, um, depending on the quantity, it was like either it get delivered five weeks from now or tomorrow and we needed them tomorrow at that time. So I have a thousand popsicle sticks. Maybe I'll make a birdhouse with it or something. I feel like you need some big gargantuan strawberries. I coat it. These are so cute. I feel like I want to have a party. Ooh. Ooh. Cute. The third chopple maker hack that we are going to try. Why are you making a face like that? I just was trying to see if you were looking. Ow! I'm gonna throw out my neck. Sarah would still make me film. Yes, I would. So the third chaffle maker recipe that caught our eye, our eyes, we have four of them, is the uh, mini waffle maker corn dogs by Ashley Ash on TikTok. And she uses regular corn, corn, bread mix, bread mix corn, corn. Why do I keep on saying corn like that? Were you a fan of corn? I was. That's a life. I meant the band. Corn. <laughs> she uses regular cornbread mix and she dips hot dogs into it using skewers like we're going to be using popsicle sticks and then she puts them in her waffle maker and she makes really cute waffle corn dog so of course we can't have cornbread mix on keto but i did come across this product that we're excited to try today miss jones keto and paleo cornbread it says not cornbread not cornbread cornbread mix right we just put maybe a cup of this into a bowl, added an egg, added in some milk. We actually used heavy cream mixed with water because milk is higher in carbs. Mix that all together. We are going to skewer these hot dogs. We've actually sliced them down the middle and then made them into fours. You don't want the hot dog to have a high profile because you're not gonna get it to cook all the way through. Honestly, the first recipe that we did with the chicken, if the chicken is like big in the middle, then it's gonna have a hard time closing. So you're gonna have to like cook it longer, which is okay. This is the cornbread, not cornbread mix, and it's pretty thick. I think that you're gonna have to really be careful with actually patting it onto the hot dog because it could slide off. So just be careful with that. Kind of do that closer to the waffle maker because I've actually never cooked this type of mixture in the waffle maker before so I'm interested to see how it turns out. I also don't <laughs> it, looks like it looks like a finger. Hmm. Hmm. Just going to kind of Sarah and I have made corn dogs on this channel using fat head dough before. That's what I thought was gonna happen. So what if you put it in there and just put the hot dog in the middle? Hmm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put it right in the center. That's a lot. I don't care. <laughs> How are you gonna get, you're gonna have to top it with more stuff. Are you gonna fold it over? I mean, okay. Like that, it's like a meat popsicle. <laughs> okay. What's that from? If you know what a meat popsicle is, comment below. What movie is that from? Weird looking. I know. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be pretty big. So okay, so we'll fine. just make two. Yeah. Getting late in the day here. Emily, we decided to do three. Why? We decided to do three hacks because we are dumb. <laughs> okay, lightly. 
I feel like it's gonna take longer to cook because it's so thick. Well, I'm just gonna let gravity cook this and just let it be. We're gonna cook it for four minutes and then we're going to unveil it. And if it's edible, which it will be because we're gonna eat it no matter what <laughs> it turns out like, cause it's 4 p.m. right now. We're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna try all the different hacks that we made today. Why are you getting so close to me? It's a meat lollipop. What a journey. What a buffet of waffles we have here. We have a smorgasbord. Smorgasbord? That's a good word for it. Smorgasbord, a cornucopia of waffles. Mm -hmm. Hope you're hungry. We made a lot. More, I think, is appropriate. Oh, well, my husband wants some, so yeah. that's good. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have a lot left over, except for the hot dogs. We just gave up after that one. <laughs> we only made two. So the first one is the chicken nugget waffle. Chicken and waffles. Chicken and waffles. Cute. Mm -hmm. Bite size. Perfect for a party. I love chicken and waffles. Mm -hmm. What about you? Yeah. Dry as a bone. <laughs> 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 so they're a little dry so we cooked the chicken nuggets and then they sat for a while while we were filming this is what happens actually it's like it doesn't happen in real time right i'm not sure if anybody knows this but to cook all of these it took us about four hours <laughs> well okay. just because of the logistics of it yeah so each one takes four five minutes to cook and everything in between and we just, we did a couple rounds of it yeah. and then we cleaned the waffle maker in between. And so like these, years old. No, these are three hours old. Uh huh. So because they were double cooked, right? They were cooked in the oven and then they were cooked again in the waffle maker. So the smaller ones are definitely on the dry side mm -hmm. and then the bigger one are not. So, but these, I think this is tasting pretty good. Right. But overall, I think the concept is there. It's just that maybe the chicken nuggets were cooked for too long. Right. Next up, we did our strawberries. We chose this order just because I felt like if the hot dog was in the waffle maker, I was afraid that it was every, gonna make it, everything it was gonna taste, taste like, like strawberry hot dogs. So <laughs> even if we cleaned it in between, yeah, uh, slightly. So so these are cute. They smell good. They smell like strawberries. These are definitely soft. Oh. Mm-hmm. The mm. inside is kind of like a gooey surprise. Mm-hmm. The pancake is super light and fluffy. Really cute. Kids would probably like this. Mm -hmm. You don't need the sticks. You could just do what we did with the other ones, right? Well, I have like 9,000 <laughs> of these left, so I was trying to use them. But yeah, you could just do hand dipper. Dippy dip. But yeah, I like this mix. It's pretty neutral. You could go sweet or savory with it, which I like. Sarah is cheap with the ketchup today. Oh, I'm sorry. I was running out. <laughs> That took me a while to get out of the bottle, you know, <clears throat> to like the last bit. Stuck Here's our there. meat lollipops. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just don't have anything to say. You I know. know. It's just kind of like, what am I supposed to say about this? <laughs> I don't think that she used a, a stick. What? <laughs> this reminds me of corn dog. Yeah. The only issue is, is that there's twice or three times the amount of batter than there is the dog. I said that. Put a dollop of the batter on the thing, cut up some hot dog, mm -hmm. maybe diced. If you want an equal distribution of hot dog mm -hmm. to cornbread mix, and then top it with a little bit more batter and then cook it like that. That way you, every bite would have some hot dog in it. But yeah, this, this cooked up surprisingly well, the cornbread mixture. Yeah, I like the texture. So these ideas were super cute, especially for something like a brunch. I could see you, you know, or if you go on a camping trip. <laughs> well, how would you plug it in though? A generator, <laughs> whatever. You know, plug like it in you your need, car. <laughs> yeah, you can make these really simply with one device. And my kitchen is really small. So I really stop myself from buying more doodads because I don't have room for them. Finding new ways to use my waffle maker besides chaffles was something I was really looking forward to and I'm glad that we tried these today. We don't know what we're doing most of the time with these experiments, but we enjoy experimenting and we like looking at any recipe and saying, hey, how could we make that keto? And with most recipes, you can. So if you guys have any other ways to use your chapel maker, please leave us a comment below. We would love to hear your suggestions. We're always looking for more. And a couple weeks ago, Sarah and I found a hack to make the easiest orange chicken 
and we made that keto friendly. It's called Lazy Girl Orange Chicken. And if you want to see that video, you can click right here and we will see you over there. Anyway, I'm Emily. And I'm Sarah. And, and we're we the Keto Twins signing, signing out. out. Airplane. Oh. Thank <laughs> you.